Hey guys, Hayden back with Glory Cloud Coffee. Uh, today I want to talk about um, a couple things, and really that's just how would you adjust your espresso shot. Say you maybe got a new coffee, or you have a coffee that isn't typically pulled on your espresso machine. How would you go about um, changing some of the parameters on the espresso machine and how much coffee you do uh, are putting into the um, portafilter to get the taste you want. And so um, the first thing I want to talk about is going to be temperature, right? We have the ability, we're set at 199.8 right here. We have the ability to change the temperature. A proper brew temperature um, is from 205 to 195. Now, uh, with Reno being at the elevation it is, uh, we can't go to 205 because water actually boils at 204. So our parameter is more around 203 to 195. So uh, I guess the question would be, why would you change that or would you just set it? Uh, the main thing to realize is that uh, that higher temperatures are going to highlight the acidity. So if you find after tasting your coffee that there just isn't enough acidity in it, you don't like um, the fat, that it tastes kind of dull or flat, you could try upping the temperature and keeping all of your other parameters the same and you'll see uh, the acidity, perceived acidity, uh, come through until you get it to a level that you like it. Vice versa, right? Say that you're pulling a very, very acidic coffee. Maybe you have a light roast Kenya or you have a lighter uh, natural that you wanna pull through here and you're just getting sour notes because of the acidity. You could drop it from 203. Uh, I would recommend maybe going two degrees at a time all the way to 195 to where uh, you're highlighting the sweetness and maybe uh, subduing the acidity on there so that it's a level at a level that tastes good uh, with um, espresso. Uh, the next thing I would say uh, is that um, sour, uh, sweet, and bitter, those are going to most be, mostly be affected uh, by the time that the shot pulls, right? So um, to get that balance, you want to try and get the same shot time every time. Once you have that dialed in, and actually that shot time, the amount of time that the water is exposed to the coffee, is probably, uh, I would say, the most important thing. So a lot of people worry mostly about the amount of volume that comes out. I would say that it would be better to be four grams over and stick to your 25 second shot than it would be to go to 28 seconds um, or uh, vice versa, go down a couple uh, grams for the final weight and not hit that. And so uh, usually finding, uh, finding the time that the coffee tastes the best um, is important. And uh, one of the things to look for uh, in that is just going to be that balance between those three things. The bitter, right, because coffee is bitter. It has uh, bitter chemicals in it that are created in the roasting. And then it's got, it's going to have acidity and then it's going to have sweetness. And so you don't want any one of those things to overpower it, right? If you have way too much bitterness, then the, uh, the, the uh, natural sweetness of the coffee um, is uh, not perceivable. And then the last thing I want to talk about is um, the dosing weight. In a, in a previous video, 
uh, we were trying to dose 18 grams. And so what is the idea of uh, how much coffee do you put into a portafilter, right? Well, the first thing that you're gonna wanna take a look at is how much can your basket hold? I wanna say that this could maybe hold 20 grams. So uh, I'm not gonna be pulling 22 gram shots on this, right? So it's a good idea to take a look at this basket and uh, just kind of get an idea, maybe fill it up uh, and weigh it and see what, what are your, uh, what's your maximum amount of coffee that can fit in here. And that is gonna change with the, the roast degree, right? Like uh, a darker roast coffee is gonna take up uh, more volume but it's going to weigh less and then the opposite with a, with a lighter roast coffee. So the thing to think about when dosing other than the physical limitations of the basket uh, is going to be um, the clarity of the coffee and typically as a rule of thumb um, uh, darker roasted coffees do better uh, with less coffee in the basket. So if you've kind of noticed that your medium roast, the sweet spot is 18 grams, you might want to try when you throw that darker roast in there, a 17 gram shot. And what it and what like what I said is uh, is you're looking for clarity. And the other thing that will affect the clarity of the shot is going to be how much weight you have coming out. So the Slayer is going to give us a weight of the final shot to adjust that clarity. And you want to kind of just think about um, uh, flavors being close or far apart in the water, right? If there's all these flavors super jam-packed together, it's kind of hard to distinguish where the orange and the raspberry are because everything's so crowded. But if you use a lighter uh, weight, it's kind of like you pull those apart. And also, if you put out uh, more grams of espresso for the final product, you kind of pull that apart. And then you're able to kind of uh, perceive that there's orange and that there's raspberry. So. Uh, if you notice that they're too muddled, you know that there's different flavors there, but you can't tell what they are, you might want to either A, decrease uh, the amount in the shot um, for the dose weight, or you might want to pull uh, a shot that has more volume to it. You might want to move from a 35 gram shot to a 40 gram shot. Uh, another thing I've noticed too with uh, some darker roasted espresso um, is that if you're getting uh, those carbony type flavors and you're getting like overwhelming bitterness go ahead and try uh, lowering your dose if it tastes uh, burnt if it tastes like charcoal see what happens when you go from 18 grams to 17 grams um, and uh, and I think that you'll you'll notice the last thing with that dose weight too to keep in mind because we're talking about how much do you put in that porta filter is the body right if the body tastes super thin then you probably want to add more espresso or you want the final shot to be uh, to be a little bit heavier um, and if it tastes way uh, way too I guess you would say viscous or like just uh, heavy then you want to look at maybe either lowering the dose weight that's going in or um, stretching that shot from 35 grams out to 41 grams out in the same amount of time and seeing uh, if that doesn't help. So that's it.